I want to say that uh, Senator Nelson and I, with great support from Senator Bozeman and Senator Rockefeller, um, have been relentless in assuring that America's place in space would be continued. And I couldn't ask for better partners in Senator Rockefeller, Senator Nelson, and Senator Bozeman on our side. Uh, they have backed us all the way. And I, I will also mention, because we're going in this week to the appropriations process, Senator M Mikulski also is bought in 100 percent. She and I are the chairman and ranking member on the appropriate appropriations committee. We're going to mark up uh, tomorrow, and we're going to do what I think everyone will applaud, and that is assure America's rightful place in both science and space exploration. Thank you. Uh, we get double the pleasure with Kay because she's uh, not only the ranking on the Senate Commerce Committee, she's also the ranking on the CJS Appropriation Subcommittee. Uh, we want to hear from uh, the other uh, members of Congress that are here. Uh, Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson is the ranking member of the House Science Committee. Thank you. I didn't, there it is. Uh, thank you very much to all of the people here. And let me say that Mr. Hall, who is chair of the Science, Space, and Technology Committee in the House, is unable to be here this morning. But we work in partnership, as I am the ranking member, in strong support of the space program. And this is a very special day for us because we are going into an area just as we went into the area when we started space exploration, we are going now to the next level. We know that what was done in the past has been the most successful research in this country that we've invested in. What we have been concerned about is preserving our expertise and making sure that the people who had trained, the scientists that had inspired our young people for the next level, will remain in place. We consider this somewhat of a long time coming because we have known for some time that we needed to take this step. We were simply waiting for the White House's approval, and we are so pleased that the White House has joined us in where we want to go. And we are, we are very excited about this next phase. We know that research means exploring the unknown. We know what we've done in exploring the unknown from the past. We don't know what we'll find for the future, but we are confident that we will find new information that will clearly take the lives of our people from around the world to the next level. So we are very excited about now, and we are very pleased that Administrator Bolden can move forward with his vision and will keep all of our very qualified staff in place. We want to thank them for what they've contributed to the space program already. And we want to thank them for being patient enough to wait until we could come to this level where we are now. We hope that we will be successful in making sure that we can get the minimum, at least, amount of money to go forth in a very vigorous and successful manner. And so I'm pleased to be here, and I'm also pleased to say that I see other members of the committee present from the House as well, and I thank them for being here. And I'm going to present to you now a, a senator whom I work with very, very closely in the House. We worked as chair and ranking member together on a subcommittee in transportation, and neither one of us said more than we had to. We were pretty quiet but we got a lot of communication going. And I want to present to you now Senator Bozeman from Arkansas, my dear friend, uh, so that he can make remarks. Thank you. Thank you all, and I really am very pleased, very happy uh, that we have a decision. And I think the key to that is because we have a decision now, it will allow us to provide certainty. And that's so important, especially as we seek to retain the, the 
the best and the brightest as we move forward, uh, those employees that will help us get to the next stage that we go to. So I really look forward to working with my colleagues here, working with my colleagues in the House and the Senate, working with the administration, uh, so that, again, that we can work together as we build the infrastructure that we're going to need uh, to take us as we move forward in space, and most importantly, to keep uh, the world at preeminence as being the leader in space as we move forward and uh, maintain that. That's been such a, an important part of our history, and I think it will be an important part as we move forward uh, into this next century. Thank you. It's important to underscore the administrator's comment uh, about the workforce. This is the most skilled workforce uh, that is a national asset to this country. And with the phase out of the space shuttle, uh, with the building of the commercial rockets scaling up as the space taxi, and then now with the big rocket, the monster rocket being set, and the contracts, as Kay said, within a week, the contracts being modified, you will see that workforce then be, start to scale up so that there's not just the precipitous drop that you phase from one right into the other. That was most important to all of us. It's important to the President. And the Administrator uh, made that uh, comment in his opening line, and I just wanted to underscore it. Uh, we're uh, pleased to have uh, Congressman Chaka Fatah from Pennsylvania. He is the ranking member on the CJS Appropriations Subcommittee in the House. Congressman. Thank you, Senator. Sir. Well, the General said he was uh, proud to have flown on a few uh, of the shuttle missions. He actually commanded two of them, and uh, he is commanding NASA in a way that I think today you see a decision package come together. And as an appropriator, uh, I know that uh, we're pleased to see that the authorizers uh, and the administration have uh, come to an agreement uh, that clearly identifies uh, the President's goal of having us move from, uh, you know, uh, uh, exploration in terms of uh, lower orbit to deep space to Mars as the target. This embrace of the commercial crew program is very important. I am making now this decision around the launch system. It uh, really positions NASA to move forward aggressively. And I want to thank the Administrator for his his leadership. I know that some of the, uh, the, uh, the tussles up here on the Hill uh, can be challenging, uh, but uh, this, is, uh, this is rocket science we are dealing with, so it is somewhat complicated uh, for those of us in the political realm, but we do want to make sure that our country leads the world. We have led uh, in an absolute way. We know that we have others who are uh, have joined this effort in terms of uh, space exploration, but we intend for America to be number one, and we know as appropriators that we can't do that on the cheap. Uh, it will cost money. We're going to have to invest money uh, as a nation to continue to lead the world, and as an appropriator, it's always helpful to have guidance from the authorizers and to have an agreement so at least we're not working at cost purposes. So I want to thank uh, Senator Hutchison and, uh, and my good friend, Senator Nelson, uh, who himself uh, served in a different capacity in our efforts in space at a previous time uh, for their leadership, along with my, uh, my colleague uh, from, uh, from Texas, uh, Congresswoman Johnson, who has done such great work in the science education area and on behalf of NASA. So thank you. Okay, uh, let's take uh, a few questions, uh, mindful of the 1130 uh, detailed uh, press availability for the technical details. Yes, sir. Uh, 
Uh, the question is uh, the difficulty of the funding on a going forward basis. This is why the President wanted to make sure that they had all their T's crossed and their I's dotted so that he would be able with vigor to present this budget and then defend it from the administration standpoint. Uh, will it be tough times going forward? Of course it is. Uh, we are in an era in which we have to do more with less all across the board. And the competition for the available dollars will be fierce. But what we have here now are the realistic costs that have been scrubbed by an outside independent third party in their study of NASA after NASA presented its uh, uh, numbers to uh, the administration, to the budget director. And uh, so they have scrubbed these costs, and they think they are realistic, and they think that uh, this is achievable if America is going to have a human space program. And I can tell you in the, in the bosom of every American, there is a yearning for us to explore the heavens. And uh, what you see over the next five or six years is a budget coming forth from the administration of about $3 billion a year for this system. Uh, do we think that we can maintain that? The answer is clearly yes. Let me speak to that as well, because uh, as ranking member of the uh, committee that is writing the budget, um, I see a very strong bipartisan support of NASA in its key roles. The, we will set priorities, uh, and the administration has set priorities. Um, it will be this space launch system for the far out. It will be the commercial system for the interim term and the web telescope. And when we set those priorities, I believe that we will get the funding. I will just use as an example even uh, some of the strongest budget cutters on my side of the aisle have put forward uh, massive cuts, but they have not cut the core mission of NASA because they see that as uh, part of the American spirit and most certainly part of the American economy and America's national security, which we cannot afford to be where we cannot afford to be in second place. Yes, sir. Well, um, I think that we, uh, certainly the committee and uh, Senator Rockefeller and I will discuss the investigation and uh, if there are uh, parts of it that we need to uh, close, um, we will talk about that. I haven't been privy to exactly uh, where they are. Um, we have been frustrated, I think that's uh, no secret, uh, by the time delays. Uh, I have felt that um, there was s some effort underneath somewhere uh, to delay, delay, delay until it was too expensive. Uh, and it came to a head when there was a leak that issued a, uh, a hypothetical uh, set of um, circumstances which would double the cost of this uh, space launch system. Well, no one ever suggested the hypothetical, and yet it was reported as, oh my gosh, White House has sticker shock. And that brought it to a head because nothing in there was factual. It was a, an erroneous leak, and that's when Senator Nelson and I just came out pretty forcefully saying, you know, this is sabotage. Uh, and so I think that now 
uh, that the administration has come forward. Everyone is on the same page on the numbers. The numbers are within the authorization level.